Oh man, split neck. For years we've noticed after several reloadings that we've been getting case neck splits. That is due to the work hardening and firing of brass. A lot of us reloaders have been able to find out that annealing our brass after every firing will help get longer brass life, better neck tension, and potentially better groups. We'll be covering tried and true methods that we've been using for years, and I'll be covering the new EP 2.0 annealer from EP Integrations. Here is a picture of a case with a split neck. Neck splits are the first sign of work hardening. Work hardening is when brass becomes brittle. The splits in the neck appear after brass has been resized multiple times and the brass has become too brittle. And this is the primary reason why we anneal. What is annealing? Annealing is the heat treating of the neck and shoulder of a brass cartridge case to make it softer so it will seal the chamber during firing. Brass gets softer while heat treating unlike steel. For example, military grade 556 has annealed brass. For years, the best way to anneal brass was using a corded or cordless drill with a deep wall socket. So with that, the best way of using a deep wall socket, take your brass, you might have to put an insert in there. What you're wanting to do is, with the deep wall socket, is use as a heat sink to prevent the rim and lower part of the case from heating up. You want just enough of the rim and tip of the brass out to be able to anneal. What you'll want to do is, to, using the glow method, or using Timpelac, you'll paint the neck and tip of the brass. And Timpelac is a heat, heat temperature paint that is used to determine a certain temperature of the brass. So you'll coat that, you're putting it down inside the flame just enough to count. And once you see that Timpelac burn off, you will dump. Do a couple more test pieces. This time you'll count in the same time. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. So you're out of eight seconds. Put a piece in of without Templac on it. Do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can keep repeating those steps. That process has worked for years but there's better and more consistent methods. This is the pan method. The water in the pan protects the base of the case. You do the same time method as you did with the drill to determine how long to anneal your brass. Now we will be covering what comes with the EP 2.0 annealer. First of all, the annealer itself. You also come with a really nice high quality burns o -matic torch head. Nice catch pan. The power adapter itself, which a lot of the other annealers on the market do not come with. The bottle stand. Also comes with a warning label or warning letter that is uh, explaining that the brass stopper is very hot, so make sure you use a set of pliers to adjust that. And Todd and Scott threw in a couple koozies for us as well. So now we'll be showing up how to set up the EP 2.0 annealer. The great feature about the 2.0 annealer is that it's adjustable from 300 block out to 50 BMG within seconds. I'll be demonstrating with the 300 block out case. So you want to make sure on your drum, your brass sticks about this far out off your drum. So what we'll do is we'll set our brass in there, adjust in our shim plate, back off our weight enough we have to, find it right where we want it, say right there, tighten that down, adjust our heat rod, right about right off there and right where it's about halfway there. 
So we turn it on, moving that brass, and we want to stop it right about where we would drop our piece of brass in. And we want to have that this plate where it's right in front of the shim plate. Say right there. Setting our piece of brass on there. Turn it on. Set that in there. When it drops down in there, and then what I'll do is you set your next one on there, drop that first one, catch that second one, and we'll continue the process for all your brass. So now I'll be showing you how you can even use straight wall cartridges such as 4570. Just set her in there, loosen your wing nut, take her back a little bit to right about where you want her. Tighten your wing nut, adjust your rod if you need to. Just your side plate, and we are here to go. And you see how quick I can adjust from cartridge to cartridge. So now I'll be showing how we can do obscure cartridges like 577 Martini Henry. So get where I needed to you be able to use the pan, set her in there, just just where we want it, lock it down, set up our rod, and set up our panel here, right there, turn it on. So now what we'll be doing is we'll start annealing 223 brass. So what we do is do once your plate and everything's set up, we'll get our torch going and get to where that flame roughly will be right about where it's touching the neck of the rim or the neck of the case. So we'll be starting roughly about 35, 40 mile, 40 speed, maybe a tad bit higher. We'll run that, see how that looks. Might need to slow it down just a tad. I'll run one more just to see how that looks in the light. So that looks pretty close. At this point what I'll do is I'll shut the lights off. And I'll put another piece in. See, look at how that looks. And check and see if that glows. And that looks a little bit too fast. And it might need to bump it down just a tad, about 39. Let's try one or two more pieces. That looked pretty good. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. That looks pretty good there. Throw in one more piece. This could determine my speed. So that looks pretty good. Now what y'all do is I'll make a note of that speed and I'll continue annealing my brass. <laughs>
So now we'll be talking about how what our opinions are on the EP 2.0 annealer from EP Integrations. As far as pros, uh, the first one is the easy adjustability, especially converting from cartridge to cartridge. Simple, pretty quick. What, you, what would you say? Ten seconds, maybe, maybe a little more. Uh, not not much time at all. You know, it's uh, yeah, especially for a person like us. We do a lot of mill surf cartridges. You know, it's uh, it's easily adjustable from from one type to another. So some of the other ones, it's a little more finicky, a little more time involved in it. Uh, uh, in my, another nice thing about this, it's perfect for small batches uh, and odd sized cartridges. You know, our biggest batch of brass we probably anneal or even reload at a time would be about 500 cases at one given time, don't you think? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, 500, maybe. Usually we'll sit about 100, 200 is our main roughly where we sit yeah, on most yeah. of it so because you know if, if we're doing load development uh, there's no use in needing a lot of cases at one given time you know and there again some of these older cartridges we don't have thousands of them so so yeah another one is the improved reliability we've we've used it for about two weeks now we've run what would you say maybe 10 15 sets of batches of brass yeah, yeah. uh the big things the digital readout especially once like for instance five five six or two two three brass We've been able to notice that it's pretty reliable on all the different batches. Right. We're about it's, 35, 40 right in there, and just you can just know roughly to set it to there. Yeah. Uh, some of our batches we didn't separate by head stamp, and you would get some you get the perfect glow, some not quite so much. Uh, it's just there again, if you want to very as consistent as you can get it, do separate your brass by uh, head stamp. Yeah. Uh, and there again, the adjustability of the back ring uh, makes it from going from case to case uh, it's easy as can be. And the more notes you put down in your notebook of how you do the setup, it's even quicker. Uh, yeah, and on that note, the, that back plate, it's sturdy. It's not going to break. Oh, it's no. You don't have, a, have an issue with that at all. No, the whole thing's built extremely well. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, it comes with... Another thing is we like how it comes with almost everything you need besides a propane bottle. And most times, most people have a propane bottle yeah. laying around the house. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, just boom, simple, easy, put together. Takes, as I said, maybe 30 seconds to take everything out of the box yep. Yep. and ready to go. Uh, and this, this the 2.0 annealer uh, is very beginner friendly. If you've never tried any of the other methods, whether it be the drill method or a pan method, uh, I would jump right to this because it's so beginner friendly. Uh, you watch our video, other people's videos. The setup is quick and simple. Uh, you can't go wrong. Yeah. And uh, Todd from EP Integration, Todd and Scott, they've covered it very well, even on their channel. It's simple. It's just to the point. It's easy. It's yeah. hard to beat. You can't so. beat that. Uh, potential only con we probably saw, and it's really not really a con for us, is uh, you have to single load each time. Uh, and you get into a rhythm of hearing it clank down onto the, the, the bar and put your next case on there. You know, if you forget, you get a little think about something else and you skip one, no big deal. Just put the next one on there. Yeah. And um, if you check in with Todd, I know there's a gentleman on name, uh, his channel's Eagle Eye Shooting. He's working on a case feeder. Um, for us, I don't believe we'll ever get the case feeder as small batch as we do. Um it's just something we don't really see ourselves needing. A con that I kind of see is, and it may be just the one we got or we haven't been able to play with it enough, the torch head for our and ours was a little sensitive. 
Yeah. Is once we set it, it kind of with the flame would kind of kick out a little bit. It could be a bad one. It could be just we weren't yeah. playing with it enough. Yeah, I've got other uh, propane bottle nozzles. I'm going to try that, you know, and see if the so. that solves that problem. Other than that, yeah, the, the cost for two hundred sixty-eight dollars, it's it's hard to beat. It's, oh no, it's hard to beat. And that's uh, that two six that that's with free shipping to all lower forty-eight states. Uh, I'm sure he'll ship it to. Uh, Canada or Alaska or anywhere else for slightly yeah. a little bit higher. I, I remember him saying that, and I know they were working on potentially shipping it over to Europe, stuff like that. They were yeah. working on a lot of those things, yeah. but I'll tell you what. But for uh, it's your first time in kneeling, I wouldn't be afraid at all of jumping on one of these. Yeah. Uh, probably our next video we'll be doing will be the Todd has a uh, uh, case holder for doing for reloading, and I will be reviewing that and probably have that out in a week or so. So look forward to that. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, to the Mill Syrup Duo. We're new at this. Our videos are kind of going to be kind of choppy here at first, but uh, bear with us. We'll, we'll get better. Yeah, and another thing, I'll have uh, the website for EP Integrations linked down below. Uh, go ahead and give Todd and Scott some help out. They're nice guys, small, great company. As we said, we love the product, so hope you'll pick one up. Peace. Thanks, guys. Be careful out there.